Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to another Genshin Impact playthrough session. The Genshin Impact playthrough session that y'all have been waiting for. This quest has been out for about two weeks, and I've been taking my sweet time doing all other forms of content. Finishing off the rainforest, finishing off the desert lore, 100%ing everything, finishing all world quests that I have, and basically just cleaning my plate clean of everything that I wanted to get done before jumping into the 3.2 content with Act 5 of the Sumeru Archon quest. Now, I just want to say right now for when this goes up on YouTube, this might be split into two videos because from what I heard, the Archon quest for the most part is about a five hour endeavor and that's for the average player. Now, add someone who talks a lot, has a lot of theory crafting, commentary, listening and taking in music and stuff like that. And you could probably add another one to two hours to that. And so I don't want to be bogged down by the overwhelming density of whatever the quest is going to give us with the story the Dendronosis, saving the Hida, Dotori's involvement, the aftermath of Scaramouche, Fontaine lore, the Ermensel stuff, and everything else in between. So I'm just going to try and see if I can find a decent way to cut this into two streams just to kind of save my sanity and save my energy because I definitely want to theorize and talk about stuff once everything is said and done. So we are here in Aru Village. I got my new party, Aether, Nahida, Kuching, Diona. Nahida, super close to Friendship 10. She'll be Friendship 10 tomorrow. Dendro Wings, I'm at Reputation 9. So we're going to have the Dendro Wings next week. So I'll probably have them for Nahida's story quest when we get to that. And then there's also like some limited events that I'm going to try to get to before the end of the patch as well but with all of that said we are going to jump in we're gonna start this our conquest this shit looks so fucking cool akasha pulses the kalpa flame rises ruka devada formed the bones and flowing blood and kusanali the innards and beating heart thrice holy and sacred their goodness and grace worthy of worship of praise of loud of record in those days akasha ran not the ashes of calamity had settled and the past had become history this is the tale of both Boar's first sage. I still don't know what that whole thing means, like the first sage situation, but I, I'm assuming we'll find out. Through the pre-dawn night, as agreed, you and the others gather at the village chief's house to hold a meeting. Everyone's here so early, but why isn't anybody talking? Yeah, so we just need Dia and all hate them on the banners next, so for the next couple patches, I'm assuming, to have everybody. We already discussed things a bit. All right, all right. Hey, where have you been? I've missed you too. I've been 100%ing the desert and getting all of the underground discoveries because Hoyoverse doesn't want to give us an underground map. After some discussion and debates, the group has finally come up and worked out a detailed plan sure together. This is gonna work? Oh, okay, so we're like busting into the joint. I gotta admit, it's bold. Color me impressed. Hmm, let's go. It's worth a try. Dude, the five-star gang. Dude, I feel like we're in Mondstadt again. Remember with Gene, Aether, D. Luke, Venti was just like the fucking five-star squad in Paimon. The point of discussion is to arrive at a solution. Let's cut the small talk and move to the next point. You're finally done. Oh, damn. Everyone's going their separate ways. I have some other stuff to take care of. Catch you all later. Bombastic side eye. Come on, don't give me that face. <laughs> I know what you're going to say. I'll be careful. So what's the plan? Like, am I just going to have to see it play out? That's what I wanted to hear. Take care. Bye. Well, traveler, Paimon, judging from your expressions, the meeting must have been quite productive. I know. I don't know what's happening. You can tell? <laughs> I'm not that good at scheming a strategy, but I can sense people's emotions. And based on your reaction, <laughs> things must have gone quite well. I'm freaking paranoid. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, Paimon's a little worried. Hopefully nothing will go wrong. To be honest, I feel the same. But you're already some of the most capable people I know. True. So you have my trust. <laughs> Candace gave us a compliment. <laughs> Damn. Paimon's going to freaking carry that into the sunset. Your deeds speak for themselves. Candace... We stayed behind to tell you that, although you won't be coming with us, mm. we'll be sure to remember your words. I'm very glad to hear that. It's been real, it's been fun, but it hasn't been real fun. Only when you're saved can the plan be successful. So please, take care. Thank you, Candace. You're welcome. <laughs> and thank you for taking my advice. No cap. I actually really liked playing as Candace for the time that I did use her. I don't know why. There's just something satisfying about just like blocking attacks and dishing them back as damage. Like her and Beto's fighting style is super fun to me. Good luck. With everything. Hmm. 
I'll be here in the village praying for you. Take care. I hope we come back alive. Like, damn, she's like, please take care of yourself. I love you so much. I hope nothing happens to you. Come back alive. And I'm like, what the fuck? What are we getting ourselves into right now, bro? I'm actually kind of scared. I'll hate them. Oh, it's the uh, it's the leader of that one Eremite group. Oh, yeah, this guy. Hmm, sounds good. I'll go make some preparations. He saw the truth and he's like, all right, I gotta, I gotta stop acting like the truth isn't what is being shown to me. I'll hate them. Have you finished saying your goodbyes? Uh, yep. Yeah. Also, Candace told everyone to be careful. Yes, she did. But I think my point also bears repeating. Our plan is not child's play. Mm. We won't be able to achieve anything if we're simply careful. Okay. We must go beyond that and fully commit ourselves to it. <laughs> Damn, we gotta go freaking beyond. I already feel like they're building it up so much. I really hope it delivers. I said it before at the end of the last Archon act. I was like, I'm like really afraid because I'm super looking forward to it. I just don't want it to fumble. Shouldn't you be saying something more cheerful to boost our morale right now? Nah, he's being practical. Didn't we already do that during the meeting? You can never have enough words of encouragement. Mm. In that case, Candace can cuddle you to your heart's content <laughs> while I continue to remind you of the seriousness of yeah, our situation. Yeah, I'll hate them evening it out. We all have our jobs to do after all. Yeah. It's like how some people can be put in charge of logistics while others will fight on the front lines. That makes sense. Speaking of the front lines, you don't look anything like a soldier. Yeah, I'll hate them's logic based as ever. Well, of course. Compared to the mercenaries, I'm merely a feeble scholar. I don't know why, but that seems kind of sus. A feeble scholar? But the advantage of not being a mercenary is that I get to stay in a safer place and offer my strategic insight. Just think about that mercenary who lost his mind. Mercenary groups are facing constant danger every single day. Well, being a scholar is also a high-risk occupation, and you are a scholar! Yeah, big brain. I'm not like the rest of them. Even among members of the same species, okay. some will exhibit far more potential than others. This guy. <laughs> Paimon still remembers when those mercenaries in Port Ormos called you a lunatic. All intellectuals are lunatics in the eyes of fools. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. He's like, yeah, I'm just built different. Do you remember the record we saw in the King Deshret ruins? Mm-hmm. It mentioned forbidden knowledge. Oh, how could I forget? That's like the biggest reveal. You have a good memory. <laughs> Thanks. Forbidden knowledge has the power to drive people insane, mm -hmm. but this fact has never been shared with the public. Even I, who has worked in the academia for some time, was never once informed of this. Those mad scholars and mercenaries we encountered may have all fallen victim to the corrupting qualities of forbidden knowledge. But the academia has always held a different view. They see it as a They've commodity. They that symptoms of madness are a side effect of human contact with divine knowledge as mere mortals. Come to think of it, perhaps the academia has also never understood the true nature of forbidden knowledge and yeah. thus always approached the issue from the wrong direction. I mean, it kind of did more harm than good. It was like it was like a foreign entity creeping into the world. It created the withering, Elazar, like the withering. Exactly. Elizar. And the same. Like, why sports. would anybody want that? Don't you think what is happening right now across Sumeru is rather similar to the forbidden knowledge pollution that occurred in the desert thousands of years ago? Yeah, actually, yes. It's definitely possible. Yeah, it's another occurrence of forbidden knowledge pollution. But Paimon thought that Ermin Soul's disease is what caused the withering in the sandstorms. At least, that's what Tainari told us. What the hell do we know? We don't know shit. Wait a second. Could it be that? Could it be? Ah, you've connected the dots. Mm. The cause of Soul's illness may precisely be the pollution from forbidden knowledge. So this forbidden knowledge seeped into the world somehow and is now infecting it. But if that's the case, what should we do? This is huge! We must tell Nahida about this as soon as possible. Wait. Why do you think Lesser Lord Kusanali would have a solution to this situation? She said the key to saving Erminsul is contained within the remaining consciousness of Greater Lord Ruka Devada. You mean, it's related to the scene you saw when you passed out in the Avidia Forest? That whole world forget me world forget me thing? Yeah. We still don't know about that either. That's like what the other guy said when he took the Divine Knowledge Capsule. He said it too. Hmm. In that case... 
It's imperative that we rescue Lesser Lord Kusanali. Only by working with her to save Erminsoul can we completely resolve the problem Sumeru currently faces. That's right. To make sure we're still on track, I would like to check on the state of some of our preparatory work. Where are we going? To an Aramite base. Okay. Oh, we going to uh, that guy that we just saw? Yeah, so I got to make sure I stay with Nahida because she can actually interact with the thoughts of uh, anyone within Akasha. So I just have to remember to keep her on me. Hello, your god has arrived. Well, not your god, but you know what I mean. Oh, you made it. Huh? Ooh. What are they doing here? Oh, shit. I gave them some technical work to do. This is uh, divine knowledge capsules. Ah, oh, it's the scribe. And is that the traveler I see? Oh, these guys again? How's the work going? Oh, yeah, they got that freaking helmet. I forgot all about that. Ah, yes. We have fixed the devices according to your instructions. Mm. One of them is already ready for use, while the others are still under repair. Bro, that's gonna, like, sap our brain juice. Aren't those devices for can knowledge extraction? Oh, God. What are you doing with those? What the hell? Look here. Huh? Uh, more can knowledge? Are you going to put more weird stuff into his head again? Yo, I could take another stat boost. As I mentioned during the meeting, this knowledge capsule contains a decree I drew up in the past. The Academia should also have their own copy. And according to the plan we just came up with, Traveler, I want you to record something into this capsule. Wait, me? What the hell? Oh shit, we're actually gonna wear that? Do you believe we can save Lesser Lord Kusanali? Yes, I do. Good. Conviction is the most important part of all of this. <sighs> all right. I'm just a little sus about, like, what the fuck are they gonna extract out of my brain? Now, please get ready and put on this device. What exactly are we recording? You want us to record our conviction into the knowledge capsule? I can do it, me! And then someone else puts it on and it's like, I can do it, me! Yes. Oh, please don't take my buff away. Paimon is still really worried. I understand. Oh, no. But trust me, Paimon, this is something we have to do. It's best if you can do as I say, because to achieve this impossible task, it sounds like you'll need to fool your own heart first. Oh. Although it may feel like a trick, self-encouragement may be the <laughs> most important tool we have. I was actually right. You can do it, Arnold. You gotta fake it till you make it. Imagine this. We have orchestrated our plan and successfully rescued Lesser Lord Kusanali. Oh. As a result, we have changed Sumeru's entire political landscape. Oh, we're like manifesting the future, bro. It's like, imagine this, our plan, and then our plan comes true. <laughs> Everything went without a hitch, and everyone recognizes and praises our achievements. Okay. Now, open your eyes. Uh... Here. And that's the Archon Quest. What's this? Is it a divine knowledge capsule of what we just manifested? Read it out loud. Oh, it's a piece of paper. Okay. Some stirring words have been written on the note. Although you do not understand the purpose of the recording, you still follow Haytham's it's done. instructions. What a fascinating experience. Is your head okay? Does anything hurt? I'm fine. I'll hate them just pulled some voodoo magic on me. It's just a recording. There should be no negative effects. But what was the point of doing this? Ugh, Paimon doesn't get it. I think it's gonna come back during the Archon quest somehow, like during our plans. And that's perfectly fine. In any case, these capsules aren't meant to be used by you. Huh? Huh. What do you mean? Have you forgotten? Our plan needs to account for those who have long relied on the Akasha. Ah, uh, yeah, we just got ours. You may find it hard to believe, but for those people, everything the Akasha transmits to them is nothing short of absolute truth. Imagine if you've been using a device like the Akasha since the day you were born, and this device has always supported you during times of need. Is he going to somehow do what Dottore did and he's going to take what we manifested and like spread it to other people? After all that time, what do you think you'd become? A slave to orders. Someone, like I was going to say a sheep, but... And that's why rules are so important. In addition, those who understand the rules can delineate boundaries and identify gray areas. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's enough chit chat. Damn, I'll hate them literally playing 4D chess right now. I'm going to take those two to work on some small projects. You can head to Caravan Rebots and start preparing for the next step. Small projects? All according to Keikaku. We are going to tinker with the Akasha Terminal and make a few... modifications. I don't like that. I don't like that, dude! That's what Dotore did! He just 
tinkered with it a little bit and had everyone like envisioning something that wasn't real. I can already tell this is gonna actually pop off. All right, go to Caravan Rebot and meet up with Sino. Sino! I thought we agreed on a plan. How can you go back on your word? How can you go back on your word? You said you would trade me your Blue Eyes White Dragon Genius Invocation TCG card. The plan is too radical and carries a high risk for casualties. I've given it a lot of thought. And in the end, I still can't agree to it. He's like, damn, bro. That's not even in meta anymore. Why would I agree to trade you for that card? You're trash. Get out of here. But it's still the best plan we have. <sighs> Is a former mantra, you of all people should be able to see the bigger picture and recognize the innate advantages of our plan. I still don't know what this plan is, by the way. I did. And that's how I saw the danger behind these so-called advantages. <sighs> mm. oh, Hitham's plan is even more radical than I imagined. Uh-oh. Why are you guys arguing? Uh-oh. My friend, you're just in time. Why don't you help me persuade Sino? He's turned against our plan. We agreed to work out a plan at the meeting. As mercenaries, you're familiar with the local environment, so you'll take care of the specifics. But then, you went to All Haytham for suggestions. All Haytham's out here, though. All Haytham's literally like playing a completely different game right now. Had I known All Haytham would give you those kinds of suggestions, I would not have agreed to the plan. Look, you already know that we're all on the same side here. Don't you? Mercenaries place a lot of importance on their bonds of friendship, but also will not hesitate to make sacrifices if they deem the situation to be sufficiently dire. <sighs> I'm sorry, but as things stand, I can't accept your principles. Traveler, Paimon, this is also something you should know. Okay, Ronald's finally. My plan is to have me work with the Caravan Reebok guards in my capacity as a matra. We will arrest the mercenaries and escort them into Sumeru City. Ah, uh, that's how we get in? Wait, how can we work with the guards? We can't get through that wall easily, remember? Caravan Rebot would never let so many unregistered members of the Aramites enter Sumeru City. Unless... My plan will clear us of any possible suspicion and also let us enter the city as a big group. There is no better way. That also sounds like something all Haytham told you. Am I right? God, the music here is so good. I wish we came here more often. Doesn't all Haytham know how dangerous this plan is? Of course he does. He told me there is no perfect plan, but this can get the job done. True. He also said that with the help of Sino and the Traveler, our chance of success would increase significantly. And then Dia's probably doing her thing too. I never blindly trust anyone, and I've always had a good eye for people. I think he made a number of valid points. It's my own choice to trust you. Damn, dude. This guy's come a pretty long way from where he was in the desert. Ah, King Deshret, the Scarlet King, my savior. And now he's just like reformed. You'll love to see it. If I make the arrests alone, I can control myself and prevent you from getting hurt. Mm. But I can't guarantee that kind of discipline from the guards. To make the whole thing more convincing, you'll need to resist to some degree. <laughs> Casualties are inevitable once push comes to shove. Oh boy. Yeah, he's like, hey, you know what? I hated you guys just a few out like a few days ago, so I could bring that back. I'm okay with the deaths of enemies. Aw. But now that we're allies, Aww. I'm against the meaningless loss of our own. I can't believe a mantra would actually <laughs> care about us. Aw. I've lived a hard life, and I can say that people like you are hard to come by. Yo, Sino's truly one of a kind, dude. We can help fight some of the mercenaries, which should reduce the number of times you'll have to struggle directly with the guards. That should help at least a little bit. We should respect the determination of Raman and his comrades. Sino, on behalf of my people, I thank you for your kindness. But this is a mission we cannot turn our backs on. Yeah. We strongly value the lives of our friends, but the goal we are about to achieve is even more important. Yo, they're talking about risks? 
They're talking about stakes being made, lives on the line. This is actually getting like really, like bro, I'm actually like, I'm not out here hoping people die, but I'm like, damn dude, I actually feel like we might lose some people. We have no fear of casualties because we crave the spoils of victory. So please lend us your support. We will show you the determination of us desert dwellers. Hell yeah. Well, now that you've put it that way, I can no longer refuse. But remember, you need to follow the plan and not do anything reckless. Candace made it very clear that we can only achieve our goals if we can ensure our safety. Yeah, Sino's like, I don't want to lose you, buddy. Since you and I both recognize the significance of this operation, there should be no more animosity between the followers of the Dendro Archon yes. and those of King Deshret. Everyone's life is equally important. Damn straight. Okay. You have a deal. Let's do this for our shared dream. That was a great like debate. And then like they just came to a conclusion and I just sat here. I was like, okay. <laughs> Aether is literally just on standby. The end, like the fucking other characters are all putting in work. Good. This is great. All right. I've saved three nations so far. I need a break. All right, soldiers. Let's get into freaking shape. Guards. Oh. General Mahamatra. To, to what do we owe the honor? Damn, this guy is scared. General Mahamatra. Keep your voice down. This is a secret operation. I'm going to arrest a large criminal gang near this location. <laughs> According to the Academia's Guide and Regulations on Secret Operations, I have the right to ask for the cooperation of Caravan Rebot. Yeah, y'all are getting freaking debated right now. Plan is in motion. Ah, of course, of course. Mahamatra Sino's order is the Academia's order. Mm. Just let us know what you need. But who exactly are you planning to arrest and how many people are you expecting? Depending on the scale of this operation, we may need to report it to our superiors. <laughs> No, that won't be necessary. They're a squad of Aramites whose number is comparable to Ein El Akmar in Port Ormos. Mm. They're involved in the theft and resale of supplies from the Academia. As many as Ein El Akmar? Not he? This should definitely be classified as a joint operation. Then I suggest that you report this to your superiors as soon as possible. Oh, damn. And treat it as a top priority desert operation. I will need personnel. All right, they better make this look good. Got it. Please wait a moment. I'll contact them immediately. I remember the cutscene now from the 3.2 trailer. Their sides are gonna clash in the desert. You look so commanding when you're working. Because this is work. <laughs> Paimon can't believe you're still in the mood to chat. This whole thing has Paimon scared stiff. Aren't you even a little worried? What if these guards already know that you have betrayed the Academia and are no longer their General Mahamatra? Well, rip Bozo. They should have realized that sooner. We discussed this, remember? The Caravan Rebot operation is of, of course importance. <laughs> but don't worry. The guards there shouldn't know that Sino has stepped down. Of course I was there. Of course I remember exactly what happened. How can you be so sure? First, the other Matras still don't know why Sino has left which proves that the Academia has been covering up the matter. Mm -hmm. Second, this is a crucial moment for the Academia's God creation plan. If something were to happen to the General Mahamatra, it's bound to attract a lot of unwanted attention. True. No matter how you look at it, they don't seem interested in sharing the news of Sino's departure. Ah, so they won't go around being like, yeah, he's no longer affiliated. A reasonable inference. I agree. Which brings us to our next issue. I'm sure some of you have been wondering if the prediction function of the Akasha will affect our operation. The Akasha is still in operation. Okay. So I must remain on high alert. Yeah, because they have like basically technology that can predict his... But like, why would they still do that if they... he's no longer the Matra? Actually, considering the power of the Akasha, it's quite strange that it hasn't already tried to interfere with my actions. Mmm, <laughs> they're like, I've been expecting you, Sino. I've given that a lot of thought. For now, I don't think you'll need to worry. If you remember, when you first came to Aru Village, all your actions and roots were predicted by the Akasha. Yeah. It even gave that information to those who kidnapped the village keepers. Yeah, the algorithm. But things like that never happened again after we met up with the Traveler. Yo, okay. That's true. But why? Look at it from a different angle. 
Why do you think the Akasha will predict your actions? Plot armor! That's why. Because my personal data has been entered into the Akasha. No, it's because you're literally, like, hard stuck in your ways. That's true. But the key to this question is, how well can the Akasha make predictions about a person? Haven't you ever thought about it? Just how can it do this in the first place? The Academia firmly believes that all human actions can be explained through logic. Yep. By sorting and analyzing entered data, the Akasha can derive behavioral logic and predict the actions of those who fit an existing logic model. AKA do something different! However, at the risk of sounding like an advocate for fallacies, can everyone truly be considered logical at all times? Dude, this is literally predicting the YouTube algorithm right now. Emotions are part of our behavioral logic. But can you guarantee that every experience of the same joy or pain would be equally intense? How can our feelings and opinions be predictable down to the letter in every single instance? I don't like this. I hate technology. Make it stop. Yeah, Sino doesn't like it either. Stop it. In the past, you've always worked alone. In the absence of another person who could sway you or your thoughts, the Akasha could produce predictions that were similar to your real-life behavioral principles. And then they can target ads for you to make you buy their products. Decisive and principled, you were used to solving problems alone. That's why the Akasha could figure you out. Mm -hmm. But now, you've joined a team. Aww. And I believe the Akasha hasn't yet figured out the full composition of it. That makes sense. So isolated, Sino is easy to predict based on the algorithm, but you can't put in the traveler's variables because the traveler hasn't been exposed to it long enough for them to figure out my habitual pattern and behavior. Our thoughts and logic have intermingled and weaved themselves together to become a complicated, chaotic mess. <laughs> Any one of us could potentially disagree with another. Yeah, we're five stars, basically. They haven't figured out all the five stars. The Akasha lacks data on these interactions, and it's impossible for it to predict your actions in the future based on your decisions in the past. After all, there's probably a limit to just how much we can be modeled or controlled by data. So, in my opinion, you're probably safe for now. Hmm. Huh, makes sense to me. I agree. The Akasha is not alive, and I don't think we can be completely controlled by something without a mind of its own. I don't know why, but the way I was thinking about this was like banner predictions. Like, Sino is out, so he's figured out. Aether's an anomaly, so it's hard to figure him out. And I'll hate them and Dia aren't out yet, so it's kind of like, what the fuck? I guess there are things that even the Akasha cannot calculate, and people will not be forever trapped by the past. Bro, I almost forgot that was a flashback. <laughs> I was like, bro, what the fuck? Like, I'm like, oh shit, that, that's right. We're literally recalling the past. General Mahamatra, we were not expecting your presence here. Hello. I'm the security officer of the Grand Deshret Desert District. My name is Luxembarb. This is my assistant, the Traveler. <laughs> he will be working with me. The construct next to him is for his work. Look at Paimon. She looks so, like, aloof right now. <laughs> what the fuck was that? She just went like all freaking derpy. <laughs> what a great honor to meet you. Your golden hair is as bright as the sun. And oh my uh, god, is this the latest <laughs> technology from the academia? Dude, she's like one of those desert technologies. She's like Ben Ben. Have you made a decision regarding the matter I mentioned to your subordinate? It seems to be a dire situation, so of course you will have our full cooperation. To be perfectly honest, I've always longed to go on a mission with someone as well known as yourself. Take your most elite platoon and follow me to the eastern side of the district. We will carry out the operation there. Alrighty. Understood. It's time for the operation. Let's go meet Sino in the desert. Look, over there. Our helpers have arrived already. All right, let's set up the trap. <sighs> Wait a moment. Ah! Oh, it's you. All right, I think something's wrong with Paimon. Like, what the fuck is happening, dude? You're my assistant, remember? Being my assistant, you must stay with me. Now let's head over there. It's General Mahamatra and his assistants. Yeah. We meet again. Since this is a big case for the academia, we are prepared to give it our best. I'm glad to hear your sense of resolve. Remember, 
We must capture them alive. Ramon better make this look good. They are our only leads for the case. If they die, ah. we will be unable to continue the investigation. Sino just saved their lives with this right here. He's like, okay, if they die, we lose our lead. They're like, okay, we're not going to kill them then. Understood. Good shit. Everyone, the Aramites are approaching from the west. You idiots, you have no idea you're being conned. Make preparations and be ready for combat. Halt! Uh-oh. Hello again. Oh, what a warm welcome. <laughs> what do you want? Judging from those shiny weapons in your hands, it seems like you're not interested in a deal. Oh dear. Ramon, the Academia has caught wind of your smuggling and illicit sales. If you value your life, uh, I advise you to surrender. Uh, but, but Sino, you said we can't kill them. Who are you supposed to be? A matra from the Academia? <laughs> I can't believe you came all this way just to catch us. I'm not here to talk. Nobody's given me this much time of day since I became a mercenary. Brothers! For that slight, let's wash our blades with their blood. Hmm. Let's show them we Aramites are not to be messed with. Are we gonna fight them actually, or are we just gonna play the- Oh, oh damn, okay, you know what? I'm sorry, my dude. Propagate. All right, this hurts me more than it hurts you, I promise. Speed of light. <laughs> Get him! Oh my god, there's more. Okay, I was like, dude, I thought the fight was over. Share my knowledge. Nothing personal, man. Scatter. Yo, my boys are popping off. Look at them. Speed of light. Sorry, sir. Kaching is straight bullying right now. Cut to the chase. Yo, uh, plot twist, we're actually killing all these people, by the way. <laughs> it's over. Ah! We have subdued them. The operation is now over. All Aramite mercenaries and related personnel in the area have been arrested. Nice. Ah, you pitiful Dendro Archon dogs! Hey! You'll regret this! Don't be talking like that. <laughs> I'm afraid you'll regret it first. King Jeshred will curse you, and you will all! Uh, silence! Oh! Uh, uh. Sino was like, that's for old times, by the way. Restrain them and take them back to Caravan Rebot. Count their numbers and send them to the Academia as instructed by the General Mahamatra. And then they get on the inside and then they break Nahida out. Yes, sir. All according to Cake. Mahamatra Sino, I will now take my leave. If you need further assistance, please come to Caravan Rebot and ask for me. There they go. Let's talk elsewhere. Nice. This part of the plan went really well. Yeah, I'm wondering what Dia's up to. Yes, things went perfectly. Once we're done here, I'll return to Caravan Rebot and oversee the group's transport. Hmm. I promise. I'll get everyone into Sumeru City safely. Thank you, Sino. Yeah, you're the reason why everything went so well. I can't wait to see the Grand Sage. They've been holding off on this man since Act 1. I think, what was it? I think it was Act 2 that we saw the Grand Sage, like, at the very start of the Samsara, like, loop. And then that's it. Like, we haven't seen this man. We haven't heard from this man at all. It's not the time to celebrate yet. Hmm. I believe Dia should already be waiting for you. Go join up with her. She will need you to introduce her to Tainari. Let's go. Oh, we're seeing Tainari. I wonder if we're gonna see Kali. Speaking of which, is it really okay for us not to share the full plan with Tainari? Hmm. What if he'll feel miffed about it and refuse to work with us? I'm a little worried about that too. I have a very close relationship with Tainari. Hmm. Given how well we know each other, I believe my message alone should be enough to bring him to our side. Okay. He knows I won't make jokes about things like this. Oh, get it? Because, you know, he has the dad jokes. Get ready for the next phase of the plan. Mm. Don't keep them waiting. Okay, okay, okay. Jesus. All right. Damn, bro. Well, this is just a caravan rebot samsara. How many times am I going to go back to this place? My God. <laughs> Dia, we're here. It's not like I was here already, but okay. <laughs> it's about time. Didn't you say our part of the plan is the most important of all? Damn. <laughs> And here you come rolling in late. Sorry. In the time it took you to get here, I already did five laps around the place, down seven drinks, and even did some clothes shopping. Damn, I kept the girl waiting. My worst mistake. Uh, sorry. We didn't mean to keep 
keep you waiting. <laughs> I just wanted to fix your attitude and rub it in a little. <laughs> After all, you took your sweet time getting here, and we've got important stuff to take care of. All right, let's get it. Sorry, the situation was a bit tricky. <laughs> I just like seeing that serious look on your face. All right, I'll stop. <laughs> all joking aside, I'm glad you're here. Let's get moving and take care of this as soon as possible. Our responsibility is to get a status update on the Fatui Harbinger uh, known as the Doctor. We need to oh? make sure he won't get in our way when we rescue Lesser Lord. Yo, Kismari. we're going to track down Dotore? Dealing with an institution that controls all of Sumeru is Let's already go. hard enough. If the Doctor were to crash the party, it would be next to impossible for us to achieve our goals. According to the plan, we should first go to Pardis DI and ask for Forest Watcher Tainari. Oh, are we gonna see Karkata? If all hate them and Sino's sources are solid, then we can be sure that Tainari still has the Academia's trust. So, we'll find Tainari and convince him to get us the latest intel on the Doctor. Then, depending on what we learn, we'll make any necessary adjustments to our plan. Sounds good. The Sages have placed spies everywhere on the other side of the wall. I'll follow you as a bodyguard. Didn't expect you to become my bodyguard. Yo, I feel just like Dunyazad right now. Hmm, how much do I want? Hey, how about paying me with a smile? What do you say? Oh my god. Dia, stop. Alright, I'm blushing over here. <laughs> I haven't seen you smiling much recently. If you ask me, someone like you must look lovely when they smile. Dia! You're making it really hard for me right now. Come on, give me a smile so that I can be less worried. Damn, Aether, the soft boy smile. Thank you, Dia. <laughs> Looking good. I hope this pretty smile will become our lucky charm. Y'all need to chill out, mihoyo. You can't be doing this. There are many kinds of smiles, but only a truly joyous one can bring blessings to others. Let's consider this smile a down payment for our future victory. <laughs> Get it? The down payment is this moment, and then the full payment is when she comes out on the banner. As in our money. Let's go. It's time to pay a visit to Party's DI. All right, we got to find good old Tignari. Hold on, I'm going to go see if Karkata is chilling here first. Karkata, we're here. There he is. My boy, he's sleeping. He's big... So Oh, Hapage is here too? This must be because of the quest. Yeah, I, okay, I guess this is where everyone sleeps. <laughs> She's sleeping in here with Karkata, that's funny. Oh, there he is. Yo, what's going on, my boy? Tainari! Ah, Traveler Paimon. And you are? Oh, long time no see. Hey there. This is our friend Dia. She's an Aramite mercenary. A mercenary? She's Bay. Hmm, you must have some big news for me. Tignari, uh, we want to ask you about something. It's something really important. Please help us out. Hmm. Oh. All right. Then follow me. Oh, I love these camera shots, man. Oh, nice transition. This place is better. We won't be disturbed by any passerby. Okay. What is this important thing you want to ask me? Uh, have you ever met the doctor? Oh, well, he knows about the doctor based on the story he told us about Kali's Elazar. So he knows of the doctor. I want to know where he is. The doctor, huh? He's that strange looking Fatui Harbinger with the mask. Paimon thinks he has blue hair. Yep. Yes, I know him. Uh, actually, <gasps> he left Party's DI just a little while ago. Oh, fuck. He was here and we missed him. Uh, he left already? What the hell is he doing? Yeah, he came looking for me. What the fuck? What's he looking for Tignari for? Can I ask what it was about? Sorry to ask you like this after having just met, but your answer is very important to us. Hmm. For now, all we can share with you is that your friend Sino is working with us. I see. So that's why he hasn't been at the Academia. I will answer your questions and will assist you any way I can. You don't have to tell me everything that's happened. <laughs> Sino's name really does work wonders. You're not even a little worried that we might have made it all up? Despite having just met you, I can sense that you're the serious type. Between you, the Traveler, and Sino, none of you strike me as the type that would conspire to deceive me. That is true. I'm just out here trying to save the world. You don't need to tell me anything you don't want to. I'll also get straight to the point. The Harbinger you mentioned came to me because he wanted to take the <gasps> scholar Hapasia away with him. Is it because she linked up with Scaramouche? I think that's why. Hapasia? Why would he want her? What is he after? And what do you mean by take away? Is he planning to leave Sumeru? Yes. 
He told me his return to Snezhnaya Oh my is fucking god. They really brought him here to tease him. To fucking go back to Snezhnaya. So you mean... You're leaving this place soon? Holy fuck, look at him. He looks so cool! Indeed. Otherwise, we could have perhaps talked a little more. <laughs> I can't wait, dude. I can't wait. Dotori has an in-game model. Look at him. He looks... I love his freaking, like, crow that he has on his, like, shoulder there. God, he looks so fucking sick. I was just about to set out when I remembered something important. To that end, I made a final trip to Pardis Di. Let me ask. Have you been taking care of a scholar by the name of Hapasia? Your sources are accurate. No doubt because you recruited many informants. But you're right. Hapasia has indeed been receiving treatment from me. Yeah, he's got like a plague doctor mask thing going on there too. I, I love it. I love everything about him. Forgive me for asking, but how's the treatment coming along? Hmm. Given the way you're asking, I assume you have something to say. Since you asked, I'll be frank. I would like to take Hapasia to Snezhnaya. Why, though? Like, what does her connection to the Ermin soul of Scaramouche like, have to do with anything? It's incredibly difficult to transfer a patient. As a scholar yourself, shouldn't you at least be aware of this? They were able to keep Kali's condition under control when they had her, so maybe he feels like he can do the same? I can't believe your utter lack of faith in me, <laughs> to the point of even <laughs> questioning my general level of knowledge. Look at his drip! How unbefitting. I have my ways of keeping her safe during the journey. In addition, I can also promise that under my care, Hapasia will receive the most advanced and effective treatment. So we're not going to get him until Snezhnaya, I'm assuming then? I will personally supervise her treatment yep. and see to her recovery. Hmm. Would that be agreeable to you? But like, why do you want her? That's like what I care about. Hapasia was born in Sumeru and remains a scholar of the academia. Her situation has not become dire enough to necessitate her transfer to another nation. Rip bozo. Transporting her to Snezhnaya is risky and the potential benefits are unknown. As the person currently responsible for her treatment, Talk to him. I cannot possibly sign off on this transfer. Yo, he hit you with nothing but facts. Your suggestion is rude and reckless. I'll pass. <laughs> Damn! I'd leave too if I, I were him. I about the doctor, but after talking with him, I realized that, just like many other scholars, he possesses an aura of arrogance that I've come to detest. Mm hmm It's not so much that he's looking down on others, but more that he's so confident in himself and his abilities to a point of near insanity i love how cocky and confident he is though i would never refer a patient to someone like him but he's also like I, he's also a terrible person do you think he'll just give up on her i prepared myself for a protracted battle of wits and was really surprised to see him just give up on the topic mm. still his reaction really concerned me i see i see of course your opinion makes perfect sense <laughs> You're still young, but already quite stubborn. Mm -hmm. I must say, you are not like what I had expected. Under normal circumstances, I wouldn't just let you off the hook like this. Mm. But unfortunately, I'm in a hurry today. What with her most noble majesty, the Tsaritsa, the Tsaritsa. calling for our return. Oh, she's calling you back, eh? Wonder what's going on at home. Luckily, there is still some time left for me to take care of everything before I leave. Oh yeah, he probably needs to get the Dendronosis. It's just as the Academia said, you're a responsible and gifted scholar. Sadly, even with all of that, you're still lacking a bit of shrewdness. And that's also why people like you can never realize that sooner or later, everyone must pay the price for what they've learned. See you in three years! I'm pissed. Pilot can't help but feel like he's hinting at something unpleasant. He asked a question yet didn't care for my answer. Mm. Perhaps I'm nothing but a talking rock in his eyes. A talking rock? He never came off as malicious, but an utter lack of compassion permeated throughout our conversation. Oh, yeah. From his tone, I can sense that he's always looked down on others. I can't believe he's actually leaving Sumeru. I can barely believe it myself. But if that's true, the situation will be in our favor. Sorry we can't tell you everything. We appreciate that you helped us anyway. I won't forget your kindness. It's okay. I have an obligation to do so. To be perfectly honest, 
All of this may have started because of me. Surprised he didn't mention anything about Kali. Whoa! A lot Recently, of flashbacks! my master wrote several letters to me, asking me to return to the Academia and assist him with his research. Yeah, the boys. Hasn't he already asked you several times before? Yes, but... There's something off about this most recent batch of letters. Hmm. The handwriting and tone are both familiar, but some details have been omitted. My master will occasionally leave a few dots on the back of the letter. One dot means that he wrote the letter on a sunny day, oh. and three dots stand for a rainy day. Interesting. This has been a habit of his for many years, but I didn't find any dots in his recent letters. Uh-oh. I believe... Something may have happened to him. Those might not be from him. <sighs> I get it. Since you are always at Gandarvaville, you would like me, someone already working at the Academia, to investigate this matter, right? Yo! I'd like to ask you to do that for me. If you can keep yourself safe, please withdraw immediately at the first hint of danger. I can do that, but I have a feeling it won't be that simple. The Academia has been working on a big project. Oh. I'm not quite sure what it is, but your master might be involved with it. Please don't tell me his master's the Grand Sage. <laughs> Please. If the higher-ups really are hiding something, then it will be difficult to remove myself from the situation once the investigation starts. If the situation becomes critical, I'll leave the Academia. Mm-hmm. If you don't see me there for an extended period, ah, that's your cue. And that's why when we got here, he was like, oh, so that's why he wasn't there. All right, we've got a plan. I'll stay at Gundarvaville to support you. Imagine if none of these flashback moments were here. It would kind of be like they pulled this out of their ass. But I, I actually really like the context that they're giving for how everything's moving forward. If that scenario comes to pass, you must be extra vigilant and be wary of any messages or direct requests from the Academia. I must say, I didn't expect a warning like this from the General Mahamatra. <laughs> Being loyal to the Academia doesn't mean blindly doing whatever the Sages say. Mm. I know what I'm doing. I see. Mm. So you noticed something was up with the Academia from the very beginning. They were so aggressive with him joining. This may well be how Sino became involved in all this. In that case, I must keep my promise and help you however I can. All right. Also, if you run into Sino again, please help me pass on a message to him. Trust your own senses and experiences. True. I think this may be something he needs to hear right now. Okay, we'll find a chance to tell him. Thanks. Right. Now let's go hunt down this Harbinger. Yo, we're, we're still hunting down Dottori? Oh, by the way. Which way did the doctor go when he left Pardis D.I.? He's probably heading to the port or something. That way. Oh, oh, thank you. Gotcha. Thanks so much. We'll be on our way. See ya! Nice. It was good seeing him again. According to Tainari, the doctor is leaving Sumeru soon. Sheesh! I want to check if the doctor was actually telling the truth. He also said that he'll take care of everything before he leaves. Yeah. What did he mean by that? We need to be extra careful when dealing with a person like him. Yeah, another thing too is we never saw the aftermath of him confronting Nahida through like Catherine at that time. So I don't really know what the exchange he had with her, but like he was obviously like he wasn't even phased that he was like, oh, you're the god of wisdom. It's like, oh shit. You know what I mean? Even though it wasn't actually her, she was just through a proxy. But yeah, if he makes off with the dendronosis, I really think, I think the Akasha system is going to go down. So that might be what he's trying to do. Just to be safe, let's chase him and see what we find. <laughs> that harbinger may have tried to cover Ooh. his trail, but he still left some traces. Oh, elemental traces? Or perhaps he never <laughs> even thought about concealing his whereabouts. Maybe that's just how Eric Oh my god, is Diaz really is. hustling, dude. Nahida's yep. out here trying We're to keep... <laughs> headed in the right direction. Nahida's out of stamina. Mm, the traces are still fresh, but there's no sign of his entourage. Slow down, my legs are so short. Really, they're in a hurry. <laughs> wait, wait, please. You're leaving me behind. Thank God I can freaking glide. Jesus, man. We can stop here. I think I know where the doctor went. To the south of here is Port Ormos, which seems to be where they're headed. Port Ormos? They're going to leave by boat? Yeah, no shit. They got to get back to Snezhnaya. That's right. Let's go to the port and have a look for ourselves. Oh, the Fatui. Oh, there's a bunch of them over here. Look, Fatui soldiers. Thanks to Dia's tracking skills, seems we found the right place. Shh. 
don't draw their attention. Shut up, Paimon. The port is crawling with Fatui soldiers. Let's keep going and see what we can find. Now this is a proper farewell ceremony for a Snezhnaian Harbinger. The Lord Harbinger is leaving. Oh. <sighs> I've still only seen him once or twice. Don't mind me. I used to hold a position in her homeland, and back then, the doctor spoke in a very different way from the way he speaks now. Maybe the way people talk in Sumeru has rubbed off on him. Are they talking about maybe a different segment? All right, so far, so good. The doctor is on that boat. Oh, there he is, right there. <laughs> so he told the truth after all. I'm gonna try to take a picture of Dotore, okay? Leave me alone. This is the best thing that I'm gonna get. <laughs> Look at him. He actually exists. Damn, I wish I could get closer. Damn, I wish I could get closer. I did it, chat. I'm the perfect stowaway. How close can I get? Jesus Christ, man. Oh! <laughs> He looked at me. Look at him. <laughs> hey, you know what? At least he's looking at the camera. Let's get it. All right. Are we sure he's not planning something? Hmm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What? What's the matter? He, he saw us. Oh, no. That was Cannon. He looked at me on the boat earlier. He was like, sir, I literally can see you. And now he's like, I saw you earlier, by the way. Just so you know. It's time to say goodbye. What the fuck? Wait, is he the only person on the boat? Huh? You mean, there's nobody with him? And where are all the soldiers we saw on the port just now? Oh my god, are we in a fucking another samsara? What is happening right now? What the fuck? <sighs> so this was a trap. But there's nobody! A trap for what? That he knows we're here? Wait, don't tell me that. What is happening? Luckily, there is still some time left for me to take care of everything before I leave. The boat carrying the doctor sailed out to the harbor. Oh no. Oh no, what? They might be after Hapasia. Let's get back to Party's DI. Oh. Did he say that with the intention that that would get back to me and we would follow him? So that way, Tignari is less guarded? Bro, we just got fucking jabated. Hapasia once connected her consciousness to the Balladeer. I'm afraid that she's seen something that she wasn't supposed to see. If I were the Fatui, I would also try to take her away. And if I couldn't... Mm. I would take her out. Oh no, mm. are you saying they're going to kill her? Has anyone ever mentioned the word like kill before in this fucking game? I think it's the first time they've ever outwardly been like, yo, we're, someone's gonna get killed. Let's go. Obviously besides Makoto. Dotore, you scumbag, son of a bitch. I fell for your 10 head Giga Chad play. At least I got that beautiful picture of you. <laughs> I believe we've already made ourselves quite clear. Uh, Our superior gave us permission to search for and collect medicinal herbs in Pardius Di for research purposes. Uh, you're lying. I've done my duty to inform you. Don't make things difficult for yourself. It would seem that my words have fallen on deaf ears. Better whip out this bow. You can keep trying to deny it, but coming to Pardius Di now? I'm pretty sure you're not just looking for herbs. Yeah. With all due respect, your baseless speculations will only lead to unnecessary trouble. This man knows he's lying, and he's continuing to lie. Well, you only have your harbinger to blame. He knows nothing about keeping a low profile. True. But he is ten head. He debated me. I may be staying at Party's DI as a scholar, but that doesn't mean I'm no longer a forest watcher. Yeah, I know. I know an infection when I see one. It is still my duty to protect the peace and safety of the scholars. Sheesh. Who have contributed so much to Sumeru. Yo, he keeps that motherfucking thing on him, dude. Then it seems our conversation has hit an impasse. No one will lay a hand on you, Hapasia. Not on my watch. Not on my forest watch. All right, I had to do it. What the fuck? Are Aether just that? showed up. Fine. These Fatui have really. What the hell? Yo, Aether was time literally here lesson. the whole time. Let's go. Yeah, Oh! Jesus, I'm sorry, Nahida. Nahida's over here getting bullied by the fucking Fatui. Alright. The doctor's orders are absolute. Yeah? You've been someone's lapdog for so long that you don't know anything else now. Yo, you tell him, Dia. We're not getting anywhere. Traveler, Paimon, please go to Hypasia. We need to make sure they don't try to sneak around and attack from behind. Karkata, protect her. Got it. Jesus Christ, these people are relentless. Hapasia's still here. Okay, good. 
Doesn't look like anyone's broken in. All right, she's still sleeping, which is kind of crazy. She appears unharmed, but why is she so still? Uh, what? Whew, she's just, okay, Jesus Christ, don't fucking do that. I was like, wait, is she dead? <laughs> Everything's fine, she sounds asleep. Oh, that's good. Oh, no. Uh. So, you think this is over? What the fuck? <laughs> When did you show up? What the hell? I thought everything's blacked out by the traveler. Even Paimon, the balladeer. What? The balladeer is here? Paimon's like, yo, what the fuck? You're tripping balls, my dude. <laughs> I've missed that look of abject horror. You've given me that look every time we meet. But, uh, where is he? He's in my mind. He's in my subconscious. Paimon can't see him? So is he a spirit, a ghost? Wait. I made physical contact with Hapasia. Is the balladeer in her consciousness? I can hear all of your thoughts, you know. Don't you remember? I already saw you the first time you came to Party's DI and made contact with Hapasia. Yeah, it even said, I see you. What did you do to Hapasia? I didn't need to do anything. It is her honor to be able to connect her consciousness with me. I know you must be curious. Yeah. I might as well tell you that I decided to enter Hapasia's consciousness the moment I sensed your touch. But why? I wanted to observe you on a fool's errand. I really wonder how we're going to change this man. He still seems cocky and arrogant and like just completely done with everyone and everything. My deification is nearly complete. All that's left now are just some final details. Do you understand? Even if you manage to rescue Lesser Lord Kusanali, it will be impossible for you to defeat a bona fide god Jesus. like Jesus. Is he like striking a pose every time he does that? Is it wise to force that childlike god into a divine battle against me? Well, yeah, because I'm a god too. A god among men. The academia acted even faster than we thought. Scholars consider the god of wisdom to be the sum total of their faith. It's how they can justify reverence for a god as they construct it. Mm. But this also shows that humanity's worship of gods is a combination of blasphemy and exaltation. It's truly laughable. If you can hear my thoughts, I want to ask you a question. Yes. What is it? How's your mom doing? <laughs> Too soon, too soon, chat, too soon. You're acting more friendly than usual, or am I mistaken? Yeah, I'm in a good mood, which is why I'm talking to you like this. But are you really okay with all this? What do you mean? Yo, we're hitting him with the talk no jutsu. The academia plans. Why aren't they having Aether just talk? Give Zack lines, give him a job. Hey, this man, please. The academia plans to infuse your consciousness with the divine knowledge capsules. This is extremely risky. I'm doing more work than Zach right now. This is some bullshit. Even if the academia's theories are correct and you manage to gain the wisdom of a god, you would probably no longer remain yourself. You will become the new greater Lord Ruka Devada of, for the academia. You're basically like a stand-in. Even if this means losing yourself, would you still want to become a god? <laughs> Those words almost make you sound like a friend who actually cares. Well, that's the whole thing. He just wants to be useful. He basically wants to be done with any part of him that has like emotions or like human effects. But you're wrong. I'm different from all of you. Yeah, man just said he's built different. I was born to become a god. My entire life up until this point has just been a meaningless routine. Jesus. This is so cool though, like the effect that they have here. Just think about a sheet of paper. By itself, it holds no meaning. Mm. The content recorded on it is what gives it value. I guess, but you're not a piece of paper, my dude. All I had recorded down before were some painful memories and boring human feelings. Mm. Such senseless drivel should have been erased a long time ago. Indeed, to me, the sight of you fools in your futile struggles is far more amusing. Tell me, just what has this world done for you to protect it with such zest and conviction? Family. The gotcha. <laughs> the five stars. You wouldn't understand. I'm connected to your consciousness, so I can hear what you're thinking and sense the depth of your determination. This is a good conversation we're having. 
So here's a word of advice. Poor Paimon. Let go of your misguided guardian complex. You know nothing about the truth. That is true. I actually don't know shit. I think I know, but I don't know. Like, Lumine wants me to go on this journey to find out, and it's not going to stop at Sumeru. It'll be for your own good, as well as everyone else's. Humans are a species that can only find bliss in ignorance. Nah, I don't believe that. If that's truly what you believe, why did you keep your connection with Hapasia? Surely, with the power you've come to possess, you can cut her off with just a thought. Ah, You've seen my affection for her. If you were in my position, I think you'd feel the same way. She's the first person who revered me for what I truly am. She peered into my consciousness and saw my past. Oh my God. Someone like that is qualified to become yep. my first follower. Yep, there it is. If you truly cherish your followers, you should protect her from harm. Who wants to hurt my devout follower? Uh, the Fatui are trying to harm her. That's who. The people that you once followed are at the doorstep right now, and they're coming to do her harm. The doctor. It seems that the doctor does not wish for her to stay in Sumeru and continue receiving treatment here. Isn't that a little sus? The doctor wants to hurt my first follower? Uh-oh. Doesn't that make you mad? <laughs> <laughs> How very amusing. Oh dear. Has anyone ever told you that you're not good at sowing discord? He saw through me, chat. I'm new at this, okay? I suck at gaslighting. The doctor has never known his place. Even now, the puny human thinks himself capable of interfering in the business of the new god. Damn, bro. He just talked down to Dotore. You're still too naive if you think a few words will be enough to convince me to destroy the doctor. Sheesh. But I'm willing to give you a gift. Just like my expression of affection towards Hapasia. You can be my second follower. It is an honor for you to be able to stand here and speak with me. As my listener, you will be rewarded. Oh, God. I hate this feeling, bro. Like, I am so not meant to worship you, my dude. That look in your face. What are you planning? Both good things and bad things can be called gifts. Oh! After all, gods have never needed to be reasonable. Oh, he's like, I will give you the sweet gift of death's sweet embrace. Ah! I'm on thunder! Wait, what the fuck? Only A can do that. Only A can strike me down with lightning. How dare you? Could it be the Balladeer? That person Paimon couldn't see was the Balladeer? Oh, he sure chatted with you for a while. Damn, chat. You could almost say it's Thunderbolt and Lightning. Very, very frightening me. <laughs> Bro, actually. Uh, I'm actually scared. Ahead? Hold me, chat. It can't be. Is the Balladeer using the Gnosis to change the weather? That means anyone outside is a danger. Let's go. Tainari and Dia still must be fighting. But if I go outside, I'm going to die. Damn, man. I, I need to be Electro Traveler now. God damn it. They can't kill Dia because if they do, they lose money. All right. So Dia is actually saved. Why is Tignari covered in electric aura? Did this man get struck by lightning? Oh, have the Fatui retreated? Oh, God. Balladeer, I know we've had our differences, but please don't strike me with lightning in the middle of a cutscene where I'm defenseless and I can't do anything. Amen. All right. I swear to God, to if I get struck by lightning, I'm going to be so pissed. <laughs> that happened to me in Inazuma a couple times. He's hurt. Don't move. I've seen Aramites get struck by lightning before. <laughs> you need to rest. Damn. Struck by lightning? We were fighting, and just as things started looking grim... The weather suddenly became extremely Jesus strange. Christ. The lightning started attacking everyone, almost as if it were alive. Yeah, yeah. Luckily, there were only two of us, and both of us were nimble enough to dodge most of the strikes. <laughs> imagine that! Fatui, though, and they were being torn to shreds by the bolts of lightning. Bro, imagine being able to dodge a lightning casually. It's like, yeah, we were just dodging lightning with the best of them. Let's... Go to Hypatia's place and talk about things there. <laughs> <sighs> Thank goodness she's fine. He's like attacking the go the greenhouse right now, the roof. Hey, how about taking care of yourself first? I understand my condition. Jeez. The wound is not fatal. I'll be all right. That must hurt. 
like a motherfucker, dude. Ugh. The more you understand medicine, the worse of a patient you become. <laughs> I know. True. They always think they can push through the pain. Oh, he sat down. Okay, good. Let me rest for a bit. <sighs> <sighs> Sorry, traveler. Now you may start. I literally had a mental episode and Paimon witnessed it all. So that's what you were talking to the balladeer about? <laughs> Oh, Paimon can't believe what he's thinking. Oh, the Academia's God creation plan. Oh, how ridiculous. Yeah. That sounds, uh, ambitious, I guess. Anyway, this is all way beyond me. They already have a god. As long as I can enjoy every day with a drink in my hand, tasty food in my stomach, and a good night's rest, that's enough. I'll only work when I have to. Hmm. Well, if nothing else, all this proves that the doctor really did have some urgent matter to attend to and left Sumeru in a hurry. Yeah, and I also have a theory. I think the balladeer is the reason why the doctor is targeting Hapasia. Her consciousness connected to the balladeer and she has seen his past. Hmm, maybe the Fatui want to cover up some secret of the balladeer. Hmm. Is that why they tried to seize Hapasia? Does that involve their past? Because we didn't see that. We only saw like him pre Fatui. Maybe there's more in there that we just didn't get a glimpse of, but like it recounts his history with the Fatui as well. Maybe it exposes them. You said the balladeer claimed that Hapasia has seen his past. Yeah. So what could be there? How he got recruited into the Fatui. The doctor might have been the one that unlocked Scaramouche's potential as a puppet. You know what I mean? Because A originally sealed it, but then it got unsealed. Have you noticed? The balladeer is not happy with the doctor's actions. He thinks the doctor has no right to consider himself as his equal. Actual god complex. So, if the doctor was to show up again, would the balladeer zap him with lightning? <laughs> yeah, probably. Based on what the Traveler has said, I think he would. Having the Doctor gone benefits him as well as us. Mm -hmm. In other words, we've successfully completed this stage of the plan. The Doctor is out of the picture now. Intentional or unintentional, sure. Yay! That's a big accomplishment! <sighs> I'm Jesus. also happy for you. <laughs> We're all gonna die, by the way. Thank you for the help, Tainari. Make sure you rest up for now. Okay, that wraps things up for us here at Party's DI. Traveler, it's about time we rendezvous with the others at the Grand Bazaar. Ooh, oh yeah, Nilu! Nilu has a scene! Let's continue to Holy keep a low shit. profile. Holy shit! You can head there once Yo, you're Yo, everyone's popping off! This is great. All right. Oh! Hey, sir. I don't know if Karkata would appreciate that, my dude. What the hell? Oh, what the fuck? All hate them's here again. Yo, this man's literally everywhere. All right, everyone is here. Oh, we're all here. Okay, never mind. Where's Nilu then? How did everything go? Any luck with your missions? Let's report back one by one. All right. I'll start first. We've made the necessary modifications to the Akasha terminal. Mm. In addition, the props required are also ready. Maybe if we put that on Scaramouche's head, we can sap him of all the wisdom that he's getting fed into by the divine knowledge capsules. I'll go next. The Traveler and I went to Party's DI. The situation was a bit complicated but we found tainari <laughs> unfortunately he was wounded during a fight with a god who is behind it <laughs> a god <laughs> uh well that's the tough part what should i say traveler the fatui or the balladeer let's go with the balladeer after some back and forth we confirm that the doctor has left sumeru Ooh. by boat he has something urgent to attend to back in snezhnaya so we've successfully removed the doctor from the picture also, Tainari's already resting, so he'll be okay. Oh, Tainari also asked us to tell you this message. Trust your own senses and experiences. Hmm. <sighs> All right. I'll remember that. Everything also went smoothly on my side. Yeah? The Aramites should have arrived at their destination by now. Yeah, all according to plan. To avoid alerting the quarry, they will stay there for now. I can't believe you actually got so many Aramites into Sumeru City. Damn, bro, we're about to freaking revolt! Revolution! It's all thanks to Ramon and his brave team, as well as their bold strategy. Good ship. It appears to have been very effective. I'm glad to hear it. Mm -hmm. Dude, I love Sumeru's music. 
It's crazy how quickly I fell in love with Sumeru compared to every other region. Monsac gets a pass. Okay, Monsac gets a pass. That's where we all started. It's almost not fair. Lyra was great to love, especially with the Archon quests. Inazuma dead ass took me until version like 2.5, 2.6 to fall in love with. And I heavily attribute that to the Iridori Festival and slightly kind of sort of Enkonomiya, but Enkonomiya is almost like its own separate thing. I was just thinking, I'm like, bro, I can't believe I love how quickly I love this region. It was just done so much better in terms of, I also think it's heavily attributed to the fact that the Archon quest is three patches long instead of two. And we have five acts instead of three. I think that's a big factor because it kind of keeps you engaged with the region. It keeps you engaged with wanting to know what happens next. And it's not just two patches and now you've moved on. And apparently there's still more to be told. So I think they're going to extend the Archon quest into, I don't know if they're going to do a Nahida story quest part two, or if they're going to do an Archon chapter interlude or something like that, or if they're going to do a chapter six Archon quest, even though the Archon quest seemingly ends here for now. But uh, yeah, I, I just really hope that they adopt these longer, more fleshed out Archon conquest and the story quest uh, world quest too i would actually say golden slumber and the aranyaka quest flush out whatever the archon quest doesn't cover i think those two are the most like impactful world quests that flush out the rest of the region sumeru is incredible like i absolutely love it well is that everything okay this meeting is adjourned all right break huh wait you mean that's it you're just recapping what we already know well what else is there to discuss? Shouldn't you end with some words of encouragement? <laughs> you know, to fire us up now. Uh, what did he say before? Yeah, I'll let Candace coddle you with words of encouragement, but I'll keep it straight. I'm gonna keep shit a hundred. I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty with you, all right? Personally, I'd rather we all go home and get some rest. <laughs> I'll hate them, you... Ugh. Oh, and if you wanted someone to say something to that effect, then I must reiterate that I'm here to strategize <laughs> and not to lead. Damn. So you should find someone more suitable to do that. Paimon, now's your time to shine. But I thought all of you Academia Big Shots were great speakers. Okay, all right, let's, let's relax. Then I should remind you that I'm the scribe. Fine, whatever. Well, Sino doesn't seem to be much of a talker either. <laughs> I guess that leaves it to my employer. Let me think. Huh? What are you all doing here? Ooh, there she is. Oh, it's Nilu. Yeah, oh my God, dude. The five star party is growing ever lot. Dude, now all we need is Nahida and we'll be unstoppable. Hey everyone. Jesus Christ. I'm not disturbing you, am I? So much money in a single place. <laughs> not at all. I was actually just about to go find you. God. <laughs> Uh, Sheesh. judging from the group and all your serious faces, you were discussing something important, weren't you? Yes. But you also look like you're up to no good. <laughs> Seems pretty interesting. Oh, well, everyone just crossed their arms? Like, what the hell? Welcome, Nilu. Would you like to join us? Ooh, yeah, she's about to pop off, apparently. Huh? Join you? In dismantling the oppressive establishment of this godforsaken nation. Nilu, are there any breaks in your performance schedule in the upcoming days? Are you ready to break the law? Huh? Wait, you're seriously inviting me? She's like, oh my god, I'll be honored. Alhatham tells Nilu of the plans of Judgment Day. <laughs> I... I can't believe my ears. You are truly the bravest and most passionate people of Sumeru. Well, that... <laughs> I've ever met. I... I must admit that I'm a little scared, but I'll try my best for Lesser Lord Kusanali. Hell yeah. If I can somehow use my abilities to help you, then count me in. Remember, believe in yourself. Hell yeah. Okay, I'll get my friends at the Grand Bazaar to help us tomorrow. Nice. Just remember not to say too much. Be discreet. You got it. Yep, you got it. I don't know how I predicted that she'd say that. <laughs> I'm not a ghostwriter, I promise. All the preparations are done. Now, can we finally conclude this meeting? Yeah, tomorrow we're gonna save a god. So, have you thought up what you'd like to say, boss? 
This is the most generic fucking Boy Scout answer. It's hard to believe that everything has happened up till now, and our actions will bring change for many things tomorrow. You got this, yep, team. Yep. It's a grand plan, and we're all super awesome. Just get a good night's sleep, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's how I feel. <laughs> a good night's rest before an operation can be the difference between success and failure. Hmm. <sighs> Thankfully, I've had my place to myself recently. Oh. It's been nice and quiet. Oh, damn. Shots fired at Kava? What the fuck? Man's as broke as a joke after Dory. Cut him some slack. All right, let's all go home and get a good night's sleep so we can be up early tomorrow. Okay, so I guess that means it's time to say good night now. Yep, good night, everyone. See ya. Ah, look at that chat. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Yeah, so this is where we're gonna stop for the Archon Quest. I'm basically gonna follow through with the rest of the Archon Quest tomorrow just to make sure that I can get through everything in one sitting. But I just needed like a buffer. I, there's no way that I could have like realistically gone through all of this in one sitting like most people wanted me to. And starting the stream, I knew that wasn't gonna be my main intention. So very excited to see where things pick up. You know, Nilu's actually a part of the plan now. So I know that she had a prominent moment in the in the trailer so i don't know what she's gonna contribute but all of these characters coming together to save nahida is incredible you know we're basically kind of pulling the wool over on the government facing off against another pseudo god in scaramouche we still haven't really concluded anything i don't even know how this is going to end off necessarily with the akasha system scaramouche becoming a playable character i don't know if he gets redeemed i don't know if he gets his slate clean or whatever the case might be I, I genuinely don't know how things are gonna play off and obviously we have fontaine stuff to look forward to you know the conclusion of saving the ermensal tree ruka devada's consciousness and everything else in between so i'm just interested to see how it all plays out and how it all kind of reaches its conclusion so we'll get into that tomorrow